exactly. You think so? I don't think. Like, don't leave it in a car or anything like that where it's going to be too hot because, yeah. I don't know. Um, one of the girls is waiting to be blown away. Okay. So, it has no sugar, no calories, all natural flavoring, less plastic, um, no artificial. Okay? And then, where's the flavors? Oh, uh, where'd it go? Hold on. Okay, so they have, like, me and my husband have the stainless steel ones, but they also have clear ones. And they have big ones, and they have little ones. They even have kid ones. Um, see, look at the different sizes. Let's see. Um, but here we go. We've got oh, we've they got smoothie flavors now too. I didn't know that. Okay. Okay, they got uh honey crisp apple, strawberry banana, um, dragon fruit, passion fruit with dragon fruit, orange mango, orange mango oh i already said that one island punch these must be new i've not seen these ones um berry citrus island punch strawberry caramel iced coffee uh mocha iced coffee vanilla iced coffee and then they have the energy infused ones that is like blue magic et floor Florida Man, Jackpot, uh, Send It, and then you go into your teas. They have the different flavors of tea. Somebody in here the other day was saying the coffees are really good. I don't drink coffee, so I don't know. And my husband likes, like, non-sweet, like, like, he likes sweet coffee, but he doesn't like, like, the, you know what I mean, like the strawberry, uh, not strawberry. Like vanilla and all that. Yeah, he don't like black coffee. But anyway. And they have classic iced coffee. Which he does like that one. Um, and then they have classic lemonade. Strawberry lemonade. Uh, those must be all their new flavors. I don't know where all the old ones are. But yeah. There's just so many things to pick from. For real, for real. Let's see. Head hurts. Ooh, they have blackberry lemonade. I want to try that one. Blackberry twist. That one's another one of the um, fusion ones, the energy ones. They have so they have like the normal. They have hydration, and then they have the coffee and the energy, and then the tea. Are there different categories? Yeah. My husband likes the normal one. Ooh, they have caramel coffee. Cream. What? What is that? I don't know. Oh, they have Clementine and whatever this is. Cream Blair coffee. Burley. Cream. Creme Brulee. Sorry. Creme Brulee coffee. I didn't know that was a thing either. Citrus lemon. Cucumber. That's a dessert. Well, apparently it's a coffee too. Um, fast break. Oh, they got protein ones now too. I didn't know that either. Damn. They got like the protein. It has added protein in it. Like protein shakes. They have fast break and goal line. Okie dokie. They have 397 flavors. It's called Circle, but it's spelled funny. But each one of these little cartridges are $2, uh, around $2. You can buy them in like variety packs. Walmart even sells them. We got my, this, my cute little bottle at Walmart. And I like it because I don't know what this is on the outside. 
But, like, you know how lots of times, like, the stainless steel ones, like, I don't know. Again, I have texture issues. Thank you for the gifts, baby. Um, but it has this coating on the outside that it doesn't, like, it stays cold forever. Yeah, it doesn't sweat either. And put ice in it. And then when you want to change it out, you just pull it out and put another one in. Yeah, but like I said, also, Walmart has them. Um, they have variety packs and they have the singles. I like them. And I don't drink water, so. <laughs> I love y'all so much. You have no earthly idea. Do I get a special prize? High five. I'm so just over it. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Hi, Maggie Mae. We were just talking about me drinking water. How are you? What? Hmm? I'm confused. Message me. I'm so hungry. Like I told y'all, I'm just... I want to scream. <laughs> I need... I like that one. Y'all, and I just want to tell y'all, today, walking in the courtroom to go to court, like, you don't know how fucking great it felt to not go in there just praying I wasn't going to jail. Like, She said, I see you made a payment on your other case. Have you made a payment on this one? And I was like, yep, on the way here. Because <laughs> seriously, I was like, oh, shit. The two payments that I made, I made both on the other one. Sorry, one of the kids sent. Okay, we'll figure out how to let y'all see her a different... Them see y'all a different day as well. Unfortunately, that's just the day we have to do it. But big things are changing anyway we will bring them to see y'all okay I, I I can't wait like but yeah for real like I don't know Come, I really thing. did I just I don't know it felt good
Okay, thank you. Oh, I can't do that. I gotta go into my other account. Hold on, y'all. You're good, love. You're good, I promise. Thank you, love. And try to save this girl's life. Well, and you know what? I asked, I asked my husband about that because I was concerned about it at first. I'm like, look, if she ends up going to jail, please. Hey, just so everyone knows, I said I'm pretty sure from what she messaged me that she is saying it was Zoom. Before them inside. Okay, okay. Your neighbor's an asshole. Yes, he is. Saying it ended up being Zoom since she didn't have money to get there. I could be wrong, but that's just how I took her message. Backwards off of his four-wheeler yesterday. Mm -hmm. But that's how I took the message. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, baby. All right. Hold on, let me see. Can I drop it? Let me see. Enough I gotta see enough. my stuff works. Enough is enough. No, you, you, can't do anything with the box. you can't do anything with the boxes. I took everybody's box privilege away. Rolling my eyes to the top of my head to the left to the right. You know, rolling my eyes. Can I say something? To talk? Okay, so RBF Frenchies, yes. She won't go to jail for an eviction, but if the judge puts out an FTA on her today and they end up at her apartment on the 15th, she won't get evicted on the... According to how I understand the PA law, she will be given approximately 10 days from the 14th at court. Unless she pays the amount in full, which obviously we know isn't happening. I've caught her in plenty of lies, yeah. But I, that's, again, that's just how I read this. Here, let me read, I'll read the message again, and y'all tell me if you think I read it wrong. Because we know, sometimes I misinterpret shit. I wasn't... Uh, what? I, I think you're misinterpreting what I'm saying. Anyway... She said, I asked if she got the messages because she said that she, um, she responded to me on a message that I messaged the other phone number on a different phone number, which she calls the mod phone. Basically, it's just a number that works off the internet instead of actually having minutes, okay? And I said, okay, did you get my text? She said, I'm in court Yes, I'm on here in the hearing on the phone. Those are exact words. I'm in court. Next message, yes. Next message, I'm on here in the hearing on the phone. Mother Moon, yeah, I, I kind of, like, that was my first thought, but no, I think she's trying to say, because then she proceeds to say, I didn't, or, I got no money. So, she was saying that she didn't have the money to get to court. So, basically, that she was on the phone, because I was like, oh, wow, you got to court really quick. How did you do that? See what I mean? Yes, it was. The eviction case is in the 14th. But according to PA law, when I looked it up, 
They have to give her, when the eviction process is complete, so that means that there is a verdict, which will most likely happen on the 14th, unless she has a way to get around that, um, PA gives a minimum of 10 days. They can give her longer, but she's going to have at least 10 days, most likely. Yeah, she was telling everybody on live that she wasn't going to she wasn't going to be able to go to court because she didn't have a way to get home. Her dad was taking her to court, but she needed money to get home on. But yes, most of the time Maggie, but we are now in this stage where I'm guessing she told me somebody took money from her, but it's telling that person that I took money from her somehow. I don't know. That's why I said I'm done. I'm done. You would be surprised. I don't know if that would, if CPS would have given her a ride. I don't know. I've never had to ask. But she's known that there was this court date for how long? Her dad would... Sorry. In my opinion, her dad wouldn't have made a doctor's appointment at the exact same day and time as court that they've known about for since May. I know. And clearly she's getting it. She messaged me the other morning. Okay? Six o'clock in the morning. Which would have been seven her time. She says she doesn't realize she didn't know I was an hour behind her, whatever. Um begging me because I have always told her no, you're not using nothing no i'm not doing shit to let it come back to me at all like i'm just not but begging me if somebody could send money because they were trying to send a hundred dollars and it kept getting it kept failing and getting sent back yeah they forced me to Okay. I didn't know. I mean, again, I've never had to ask, so I don't know. I'm sure. I mean, hell, she could arrange. My girl Amy um, runs something kind of like this, but, like, medical card would pay for her to get public transportation. Here, for instance, in Bowling Green, um, a place called Rob and Brenda and Arrive Alive. You do have to do it three weeks in advance, but she knows every day that she has to go to the clinic. So, like, that would be set up. Or could be. I know. I know there is. That's just what I'm saying. But, yes, Southern, they, they made me. They bullied me into drinking water. I'm sure. I'm sure plenty of people would have. But either A, she did the Zoom because they actually allowed her to because nothing was going to happen except for continuance anyway. Nothing. She's not done anything on her case. And I 100% talked to her about that. When a bunch of stuff was happening with me and mine. I told her. She was like, hey, you know, can you talk for a second? I'm like, no, I have something I really got to do right now. Um, you know, I, and I gave a little bit more detail. And um, you could hear. You could hear the sound of her voice changing. And I'm like, girl, you could be doing the same thing. I can't do it for you. You could, are the only one that could do it for you. It does. It hurts. It hurts her. You can tell. But 
she's so fixated on getting this money for what she wants and quite frankly probably feels like she needs she that's all she focuses on think about it when you're in her live and you finally get her talking about something that's not money she she's normal for a few minutes right and then all of a sudden money again and she starts going back off the handle and she starts acting weird and crazy When you're doing those kind of things, it literally runs your entire life. You are either thinking about, how am I going to get it? How am I going to get something to get it? How am I going to get there to get it? How am I going to get the next one? Uh, like, literally. Your entire life. It sucks. You know, as bad as you want to go to a birthday party, as bad as you want to go hang out with somebody for dinner or whatever, you can't get that out of your mind. You are constantly thinking about, okay, well, as soon as we get here, I'm going to do this to make this happen so I can go do this. Like, I promise you. It's how it is. It sucks. It's not a life anybody wants to live. Okay, again, I corrected somebody else saying that the other day. There are people out there that absolutely give no fucks about getting clean or whatever. But I'm meaning like a, the normal person. It's, it's hell. It literally is hell. All I can say. But no, I did not say that she did Zoom. I said that's what I got from that message. Don't know. Like, how am I going to get enough to be able to go this many days away from people that I know and know have that? Like, I don't know. Because I know how bad that was. And it's a reason that I wish so bad that I could help and make it better. But unfortunately, at the end of the day, it's just, it's starting to backfire on me. And I can't have that happen. I can stand here and say I've not done anything to help nor hurt her situation. I mean... How do I say that? You know, there's a particular person that I've, I've talked to a bunch that was involved with Lisa before I even got there. And, I mean, one thing I can say that I guess I've done good is she's no longer sending her money. She was just sending food and stuff. And I'm sorry, at the end of the day, I... The what ifs kill me when it comes to her saying she's hungry. Like, what if? I mentioned this last night. I mentioned this. Like, okay, everybody's sitting here going, she sold her food stamps. She sold her food stamps. Okay, so then that means she doesn't have food stamps. That means if she legitimately decided to change her life around the 15th, when her food stamps was already gone, she'd be hungry for the rest of the week, right? I mean, there's just so many things that could play a factor in it. And yes, Daisy, I get that. I do. I know, I'm just saying that's what the things that run through my head. I'm not saying she didn't do it to herself. 
Yep, I've told her that plenty of times, Mother Moon. I can do it, you can do it. Just, I don't know, I just want her to be better, obviously, before it's too late. But it literally was like a gut punch to me when I asked her about the eviction. And she said, you know what, that probably will be the best thing that happened to me in a while. I don't know why, but that literally was like punching me in my fucking stomach. She realizes how bad it's getting. Just like I realized how bad it was getting. But you seriously can sit there and not, not in your head, you can't figure out a way out. And my way out, unfortunately... She's already been doing for 18 years. It wasn't her way out. So now what's the answer? Like I said, methadone was my solution. At this point, methadone is just harm reduction for her. But... How do I say that? Please don't think I'm making any type of excuse because I'm really not. But at one point... A while ago, at one point, I had I was supposed to go to inpatient rehab. We got closer and closer and closer, and then I started asking questions. And they're telling me they're going to take my phone for a week. I'm not going to have contact with anybody. I'm not going to be able to see or talk to or any of these stuff like it literally the way it was being described to me which is scary it seemed like a jail and I I'm sorry I don't care how bad off I was I would have never choose or chosen to go to jail so I backed out and it took me a little bit longer no a lot longer to end up getting out of that lifestyle like, if it was all as easy as people on this app try to make it seem, we'd all be better. But it's not. It's not just that easy. In her head, in her head, These things are punishments to her. She's not looking at the bigger picture just like I wasn't. I heard I wasn't going to be able to talk to my husband for a week. And I was like, nope. I threw up my hands. Because that's all that mattered. He was the only thing that was holding me together. Why would I have chose to go somewhere where I'm not going to be able to do that? Like, does that mean three days into it if I... Could if I didn't feel like it was working that I could just walk out like sure probably but you don't think it's the now it's the right fucking now you don't think about even tomorrow most of the time it's the now if it was that easy everybody would be okay everybody would be better there are so many people out here that I even know that they want out so bad. But at the end of the day, they can't see 
they can't see past the withdrawal. They can't see past the, you know, just the, the bad. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Oh, I know. You don't got to think. I know. She said to me, What else do I have to lose? They can't take anything else away from me. She's not, she doesn't think. Can people on this app saying checking off on it isn't going to help? But she doesn't think that she'll ever get her son back. If she did, as much hurt and pain as I've heard in her voice, she would have tried. She would have done the ILP. She would have done all these things. You know, everybody's like, oh, people that send her money, she mutes and blocks right away. Why didn't she do that to me? Because at the end of the day, I treated her like a fucking human. At the end of the day, you know, I talked to her exactly like I would talk to my best friend sitting in the same room as me. Like, that's why I didn't get blocked. Yes, did I out that I sent her that money? Yep, and what did she do? She said somebody stole it. I don't know. After listening or reading the text messages, I, mm, it kind of does seem exactly like someone stole it. But, she's a pretty damn good liar. Just like most of us. You know? How many times have I told y'all this last little bit? Feelings fucking suck. I haven't felt these feelings in a long ass time. Fucking no. Hell no. I, I, I don't want to do this. Why do you think I cry every two seconds? I mean, I'm a crier. Always have been. Probably always will be. But 